Um, I mean, Coach Meyer will be the first to tell you, the train doesn't really stop for anybody. Um, obviously, he's a legend in this in this business, and um, you know, there's there's going to be that that missing piece. But um, we have a game to win, and he didn't want that to take away from us winning this game. That's why I feel like he also announced it as early as he did. Um, but there hasn't really been any long faces. We're we're focused on trying to beat Washington, and uh, we know Coach Day is going to do a good job. Um, we've got a test trial run the first three games, and uh, we want a big road game with him uh, down in Texas. So. Um, you know, this this program is, I don't feel like it's going to lose a step. And you personally, what does this mm -hmm. Rose Bowl mean to you? I mean, this is going to be the first time in the yeah. moment, the time you're ever going to get to play in this, mm -hmm. the granddaddy of them all. Right. Um, well, you know, when I saw we had the chance to play in the Rose Bowl, obviously I wanted to play in the playoff, but when I saw we didn't get in, um, I saw the Rose Bowl as an opportunity to live out another childhood dream. I remember uh, watching some of those great teams, especially when Reggie Bush and guys like that were playing in these games. I'm like, um, watching as a little kid, like Rose Bowl is the granddaddy of them all. You have the playoff now, but um, if you have that next best bowl to go to, I feel like this is the one. And to end my career out uh, in Pasadena, hopefully with a W, can ask for anything more. Terry, if you look at you guys statistically mm -hmm. this year with your offense, second in the country in total offense, your defense, mm -hmm. maybe setting a school record for most yards given up. Yeah. And, and uh, points, mm -hmm. y'all look almost like a Big 12 team. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? From afar, I mm -hmm. mean, how would you explain the dynamic of this team this year and being able to go 12 and one, win mm -hmm. a big championship despite those defensive numbers? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I'm thinking, I feel like it's a testament to just a whole body of work. Um, you know, there's been some games I can remember. Michigan State, we struggled offensively. Um, even mm -hmm. even down at when we play TCU, we struggle offensively. So, I mean, that's just part of the season. Offense is going to play well some games. Defense is going to play some well some games. But um, the, the test of a true team is how do you collectively bring it together. And to end 12-1, and one, obviously you want to win them all. But to end Big Ten championships, have the Big Ten champions again and have the chance to win the Rose Bowl, um, every season is not going to be perfect. But I still feel like this has been a successful season. Terry, have you, J.D., and, and Paris sat down with Chris and, and mm -hmm. Cam and, and the young receivers and talked to them about what – the legacy is that you guys are leaving and how it's on them to move forward? Yeah, uh, we haven't really, quote unquote, had a set down, but um, I feel like um, the way people are getting to see Chris play and the, the pride he takes in special teams and um, making big plays on offense, I feel like that's the legacy we're leaving. Um, you're getting to see a snapshot of him early and uh, he's going to be here for the next three to four years making big plays. I can't wait to see Cam come back. Um, and see what he's doing, and Jalen Gill, and um, also, what? I didn't know he was do it, doing it together, uh, but um, um, Blue Smith is, is coming on too, so I feel like our legacy is being left in, in good hands, what and you guys think? they know that uh, Zone 6 is still got to be the best unit on the team. So. Do you guys Have you guys talked to the young guys about taking over for you after January? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like we, we always joke, joke about it with them. So they know. They know what it is. And I think it's good for a guy like Chris to be in and getting that experience right now so he can kind of shed light on the younger guys as well. Have you seen the light come on a little bit for Jalen and Blue in the last <laughs> few weeks? Yeah, they're, they're finally they're coming around. They're getting it.